My name is Alan Hawes, and this is PSOC 101. Now I have a UART to print out information, I want to show you a couple of extra components that are very useful for digital design. These are the control and the status registers. These registers are the interface between your schematic and your firmware. I want to reuse the toggle flip-flop project we did a while back. And instead of driving LEDs, connect the flip-flops to a status register. In the C code, I'll read the register and print the results to the UART. Start by making a copy of the flip-flop project. Add a status register to the right of the flip-flops. Give it a sensible name and reduce it to just a 2-bit register. Note that the bits are in transparent mode, which means that the register constantly updates with the value on the input terminals, as opposed to being sticky, which means that they hold their value until read from the firmware. In sticky mode, the register must be clocked from the schematic. However, if all of the bits are transparent, this is not necessary, and so I will just place a logic high on the clock terminal for completeness. Now, add the UART. Give it a short name and use the DWR file to pick the pins that connect it to the kit prog. Generate the application to build the API functions. The C code is really easy. Start the UART first, then in the main loop, read the register, and if its value has changed, write that value to the UART. If you write a carriage return character, but no line feed, then the UART will continually write the value of the status register to the same position on the screen. When you press the switch, it increments the value in the status register. For your challenge, just as you did with the toggle flip-flops before, extend this design to be a 3-bit counter instead of just two. As always, you're welcome to email me at alan underscore hawes at cypress.com.